Hi Team Ryan. So today we will be discussing about NFS or Network File System. So here is my topology. Okay. So both machine will be a NFS server. Okay. Just going to copy this here. NFS server and who will be our client? Okay, so my client here is my PC, okay, my Windows 10. So, what is NFS? Basically, NFS allows a system to share directories and files with others over a network. It was developed to share files and folders between Linux system, but today we will be sharing it from our network, including our Windows system. Okay, so to my real PC. Just make sure that you have an internet connection for us to install the NFS service. So let's install it first in our Ubuntu. Okay, just do an update. Then let's install the package. So the package thing is NFS dash kernel dash server. Then type Y. So wait for it to install. Okay, so we're done installing the NFS. Okay, so before we share anything, let's create what we are going to share. So I'll just go to home. Then create a folder. So I'm Kate here. Let's say from Ubuntu. So ls. So I have here a folder name from Ubuntu. So this folder will be shared to our Windows. So in order to do that, I'm just going to type this. So I'm going to the exports file to edit the file. Okay, so do nano such it to see exports. And below this file, you're going to add the following. Okay, slash home, let's say from Ubuntu, the folder that we created earlier. Then the target. So our target is our Windows. So the IP address of our Windows is 192.168.1.88. Okay, then RW means read write. No underscore root underscore squash close so no root squash means that the root user on the client can access or create files on the NFS server so if we're going back to our topology so the real PC can access the files from the Ubuntu okay from the folder from Ubuntu okay going back save and quit ctrl x press y then enter so system ctl start NFS dash server 
then check the status it should be running okay active let's now go to our windows and enable the nfs client features on the control panel go to programs then uninstall the program then go to turn on turn windows features on or off then find the nfs services for nfs click this and this click ok so i just need to turn up the firewall so to turn up the firewall you have w disable in ubuntu Now open ACMD on our client side. So in our windows, we need to manually mount what we have just shared. Okay. So by typing mount the IP address of the server one dot five colon slash home slash from Ubuntu. Click enter. Then you will see the command completed successfully. So how to check that? So for us to verify that, press Windows E or open File Explorer. Okay. Then go to this PC. Then you will see there the directory from Ubuntu. Okay. So let's go inside of that. Then let's try to create a directory or any file. So what we see here is that destination folder access denied. Try again. So we don't have any permissions right now. So what we need to do we need to go back to our Ubuntu server okay then here in here we're going to change the permission of the folder from Ubuntu okay so for us to change the permission so it's 777 from Ubuntu let's go back to that folder then try to create another folder again then it allows us to create a folder and let's check if that folder is really created in our ubuntu site so ll cd from ubuntu let's check then here's the new folder okay let's try to create a file New text. Hello. And let's check that. LL. Then there it is. Okay. So that's how you do NFS on Ubuntu. So now let's try to do it on our CentOS. Okay. So I'm just going to resume this. then install the service so you yeah, install nfs-utils okay it's now completed 
Okay, I'm just going to create another folder that I will share on our windows. Save from Santos. Hello. From Santos. Okay, let's change the permissions. Go to bi slash abc slash exports. Save and quit. Restart the NFS service. Check the status. Okay, then open again another CMD, then manually mount. This time it's 1.10, the IP address of our CentOS. It's um, slash from CentOS. Okay, then let's mount it under the mounting point X slash. Wait for it. If it doesn't work, you need to turn up the firewall. So just go back to your CentOS. This time, CTL stop firewall. D. You then do it again. Okay, so you will see it successfully. Then check. Open File Explorer. Go to this PC. Open from CentOS. Let's try to create a folder. So in my real CentOS, I'm just going to from CentOS. Okay. So here we don't have any file yet. So we're going to create a file in our windows. Save folder. This is from Windows. Okay. Let's check it here. Then it receives the directory. Okay, how about we create a text file? So we have received the hello.txt So that's how you do NFS or network file system on Ubuntu and on CentOS. Okay, I hope you learned something from me. Thank you.